Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I have my July favorites 2019 and I do have some makeup and skincare and also a lot of other things. And if you like videos like this, it would help me a lot if you would subscribe to my channel because I make these every month and I also make videos every Monday and Thursday. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so to start this video, I have an eyeshadow palette that I have used last month and I also used at the beginning of this month to do my Spider-Man inspired makeup. That is the Revolution Reloaded Deep Dive palette. You can see it better like this. Now, some of these colors might be just a little bit powdery and they might take a little bit to build but for, for Eros 99, I still think this is pretty great. The matte and the shimmers look really beautiful. I'm going to swatch this one. This is a shimmer. And then this one is a matte. So this is the matte and this is the shimmer. You can see I like that. I mean... I have really been enjoying this. I didn't put this on my last month's favorites because I still have used it only once, but now that I used it a little bit more, I really like it. And I also didn't have a palette with a lot of blue shades. Now, this palette isn't exactly a dupe for the Jeffree Star Blue Blood, but it does have a few similarities and I might do a video trying to dupe one of the Blue Blood looks. And yeah, this is my first favorite, as I mentioned, from that Spider-Man inspired makeup. And speaking of Spider-Man, I went to see the Spider-Man Far From Home movie and that is my next favorite in this video. The movie is really, really good. I am a very big Marvel fan and I was still a little bit shook with the end of the last Avengers and this one kind of picks up a little bit on the events that happened in Avengers and the movie is really, really good. The action is really nice and the visuals and I actually think I liked this one a little bit more than Homecoming. I think it's got more character. Now, my next makeup favorite is the highlighter that I'm wearing today. And that is the W7 Glow Commotion Highlighter. That looks like this and it also comes with a mirror. And I think you can see that this is kind of a gold or dark champagne color. And this is allegedly a dupe for the Mario Luminizer. And I think it's really, really pretty. Didn't swatch much. It's super affordable and it can be really blinding. And yeah, if you have a more pale skin tone, this might be a little bit dark for you, but if your skin is similar to mine or even a little bit deeper, it can be really good. I will leave everything linked in the description box. And then I have something that is a monthly favorite, but because I already mentioned it in last month's favorites video, I will do kind of an honorable mention, but I had to mention this again. It's the Carmi X Revolution Make Magic palette. And this is what the palette looks like. And I have really been loving this. And I have done last week a video with three looks using this one. So if you haven't seen that, go watch it at the end of this video. But yeah, I just had to mention this palette again because I've been using it a lot and I really love it. Now, for my last favorite in terms of makeup. I have also tested this month the full brow range from Lidl, the Brow Perfect range. These are sort of 
benefit dupes i mean the looks of it it's definitely aiming to that but in particularly my favorites have been the brow pomade the brow pencil that comes with a brush and also the brow gel and this is what i'm wearing today the brow pomade also comes with a little brush just like the one from benefit and i think these are really nice quality and they were very affordable the shade range is bad there's only two shades but yeah this is still really nice products for a very affordable price and they work really well and then my next favorites are two skincare items that i have been using for a few months but i didn't want to include them on my favorites videos before i put out my reviews so the first one is the revolution 5% caffeine with hyaluronic acid serum so i've been using this one on the morning and also at night and i feel like this really helps to prevent and minimize dark circles it doesn't completely erase them that would be kind of a miracle but this does help a lot i do have very dark circles and I don't have a lot of puffiness but I usually have dark circles still here and this has helped me and I feel like it didn't completely remove them but it's helping to kind of minimize them a lot now I only noticed them a little bit here so yeah this was 6 euros 99 I think and you only use a little bit so this will last you a very long time it's a 30 milliliter bottle and this is also cruelty free and vegan so that's very nice and then my other skincare product is the nexa mini now when i was editing the video of this review i was so angry at myself because i kept calling the brand of this mk beauty and it's not mk it's mq <laughs> so it's the mq beauty nexa mini but whatever you can find it if you google nexa mini and this is a dupe for the foreo luna mini 2 i think and okay so this is a silicone brush cleansing device and this is chargeable and this has made a very big difference when cleaning my skin especially after i've used makeup and i have done my review and i showed you how this works and okay so i think i bought this in may you can see it from my maki beauty haul and this came charged and it's still charged so that is very impressive and this has also helped me with my acne a little bit and yeah i have really been loving this i would also like to try the foreo but for now i can't afford that so this is a really good option it's under 17 euros okay and now moving on to my final favorites i got an anime that i've been watching me and my fiance really like to watch anime and he kind of pulled me into it also someone that has pulled me into it is the portuguese youtuber rita serrano she really loves anime and she's done a few recommendations and i'll leave her channel in the description box but i have tried and i hope i can pronounce this correctly Kuroko no basket or Kuroko's basket and this is a, as the name says, basketball anime but it's really amazing when my fiancé watched it for the first time I knew he was watching it and I didn't really get it I mean, an anime about basketball doesn't seem like much but if you give it a chance it's super captivating and emotional and I have already 
completed the first season. It's, I think it's around 25 episodes and I have watched a little bit over that, but I gotta keep watching it. And yeah, that is my current anime favorite. Now, for my current game favorite, I have started playing something that is completely not new, but I bought the kind of collector's set with the first three Uncharted games for the PlayStation 4, and I've been playing Drake's Fortune. Now, I am a huge Tomb Raider fan, and that game is very similar. I still like Tomb Raider a little bit more, but this is also very good and I think it's really nice to kind of unwind a little bit if you are into gaming. And now, for my final favorite, I have a smartphone app, that is the InShot app. Now, this is an app to edit photos or videos and this has been really helpful to do Instagram posts and also to create Instagram stories. Now, I can give you kind of an example. So this can be really useful to do a little tweaks in lighting adjustments, add filters, crop images, add some text. This is an example that I've done for my Instagram. And then this is an example of um, an Instagram stories. So I have this background picture and then I put kind of a picture on picture thing. This is the thumbnail of the video. And yeah, that is a very useful app that I've been using lately, especially for Instagram. And yeah, these are all of my July favorites. Let me know in the comments below what were your July favorites. And if you like this video, it helps me a lot if you would give me a thumbs up. And you can also subscribe to my channel for new videos like this every Monday and Thursday. And yeah, that is everything for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!